Hello. This story is about the first public demonstration of television, which took place on the 26th of January, 1926. My name is Stuart Noble. I am a full member of the Scottish Tourist Guides Association, and I live in the town of Helensburgh in Scotland. And that was where John Logie Baird, the inventor of television, was born. And although the, the first public demonstration of television actually took place in London, we are very proud here in Helensburgh of having had the inventor of television as one of the natives of the town. He was born in this house. It was called The Lodge. It stands in Wester Guile Street. And the date of his birth was the 13th August, 1888. And just to the left of the front door, there is a little plaque that commemorates his birth and uh, refers to him as the inventor of television. The actual invention of television took place in this building in Soho in London, the one which you can see in the middle of the picture. It's at 22 Frith Street. And he invented television on the 2nd of October 1925 by transmitting an image from one room in the building into another room. However, he waited three months uh, until the first public demonstration took place and there is a little blue plaque mounted in the wall which says in 1926 in this house John Logie Baird first demonstrated television. However, he had had the thoughts of television in his mind for many years, even while a schoolboy, and he one of his first attempts at anything to do with television was that while living in Helensburgh, he tried to make selenium cells on the cooker of his house. The, all that happened was that he produced very unpleasant smells in the house, so he was not popular. A later attempt uh, took place when he moved to Hastings on the south coast of England. And in the room that you can see above the butcher shop in the Queen's Arcade here in Hastings, he again experimented with television. And the, the problem he had here was that he had a major explosion and nearly electrocuted himself. A 2000 volts passed through his body and he they, they said afterwards that electrocution must be a terrible death. He was evicted by the owner of the, uh, of the property simply because of the explosion, but nevertheless, it is commemorated in this plaque at the Queen's Arcade in Hastings. The, the, dem, demons, the, the plaque's a little misleading because it, all it says, it's just saying that he was doing experiments there in 1924. So he moved uh, from Hastings back, back to London to Frith Street. Uh, and this was what Frith Street looked like at that time. And his property, this laboratory, was right up in the, in the attic uh, in Frith Street. So three months after he had invented television in October 1925, he had decided that he was going to do the first public demonstration of it. And I can do no better uh, than to uh, describe what he wrote himself in his autobiography. They decided to invite members of the Royal Institution to the demonstration and they invited only the Times to represent uh, the, the press. On the appointed evening, over 40 members of the institution turned up, all in full evening dress, mostly distinguished scientists, but with a sprinkling of radics. This gorgeous gathering found that they were expected to climb three flights of narrow stone stairs and then to stand in a narrow drafty passage while batches of six at a time were brought into the two tiny attic rooms which formed my laboratory. 
In one room, a large whirling disc, a most dangerous device had they but known it, liable to burst at any minute and hop around the room with showers of broken glass. However, all went well except for two small incidents. One of the visitors who was being transmitted had a long white beard, part of which blew into the wheel. Fortunately, he escaped with the loss of a certain amount of hair. So what would they actually have seen uh, in this place? Here was a picture taken just a few months before the invention, about six months before the public demonstration, showing Baird in his laboratory. And you can clearly see the disc. This is what was called a Nipkoff disc with a spiral of uh, lenses in it. And this revolved at very high speed. And this was what was used to scan the image. Uh, and the image was then broadcast and in the room next door, his initial idea was that you would look through a, a funnel to see the, the, the picture. And you can see yet another disc which revolved at high speed. And this was where, this was the, the, the forerunner of what he came to call televisors. Uh, they, they all had these discs in them, which rotated at high speed. And it was from these that you could see the picture that emerged. So this was the first public demonstration of television and what Baird was like in his laboratory. One of the first images that he transmitted was a puppet, which he called Stooky Bill. And the, the reason why he used a puppet was that he had to use a very strong battery of lights. And this made it very unpleasant for people to sit uh, underneath these lights. It was very hot. There is a puppet just didn't complain about the heat. And the image he got looked like this. You, the, you can see Stooky Bill himself on the top of this plinth, which stands in the main square in Helensburgh. And below him is the kind of picture of Stooky Bill that was being transmitted. Other people had been able to transmit shadows, uh, silhouettes, but this was the first image. And you can see the quote from John Logie Baird uh, at the foot of the plinth where he said, the image of the dummy's head formed itself on the screen with what appeared to me almost unbelievable clarity. And this was the invention of television using Baird's electromechanical system. Baird, suffered from terrible ill health uh, almost all his life. It was so bad that when he volunteered to join the army during the First World War, he was found to be medically unfit for any form of service. And <clears throat> he died in 1946 on the 14th of June at Betts Hill and Sea in East Sussex, just 57 years old. What he achieved, given his ill health, was really quite remarkable. He had other inventions as well. For example, he did the world's first video recordings. And we in Helensburgh like to celebrate him. And one of the principal uh, forms in which we do is in this window, which you can see in Helensburgh Parish Church, which is in Colhoun Square in Helensburgh. And in the second window in from the left, you can see a silhouette of John Logie Baird himself. And on the right, you can see the Nipkoff disc with the spiral of lenses and the face of Stooky Bill. And of course, it's through all this that we're able to see on television such things as sport, comedy, tragedy, and even men in space. So we have a lot to be grateful uh, to John Logie Baird for and we should remember his uh, first public demonstration of television in January 1926. Another memorial that we have for John Logie Baird is this bust of him on Helensburgh seafront. If you've been paying attention, and obviously I hope that you have, you will have realised that the centenary of the first public demonstration of television 
is only a few years away. So please come to Helensborough and find out more about John Logie Baird and the invention of television.